Jamin here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a competition. It looks like it's in Camp Jitterbug 2022. Uh, that's in Seattle, I believe. Great event, it's been around for a long time. This video footage was taken by Felix Huang. Give a big shout out to him for capturing this footage. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a Jack and Jill or strictly type format. So once it starts, I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel and then I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts about the competition, who I liked, what I didn't like, and really kind of give you my mindset as a judge and how I make decisions. I think it's pretty fun because we normally don't get this type of conjecture when you're at an event. So stick around. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. All right. Okay, looks like we got a full band. Lots of dancers, everybody's got diapers on their face, except the MC. So I guess it's a part of the world where they're still wearing the mask. <clears throat> it's interesting, it's, it's kind of different wherever you're at in the world, but uh, yeah, certain places people are still concerned. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, this kind of makes it difficult to really feel the energy from people when you can't see their facial expressions. It makes it really difficult. to judge you all. <laughs> I always like that when they ask the judges at events. I always loved that when I was present and I would just kind of give the nod. Yes. Since I'm ready, everyone else should be ready. <laughs> Austin and Haley, here we go.
so far pretty interesting. Let's see how this evolves. Paul and Margaret. <laughs> between two couples we will see uh see how this goes down it's kind of tough i feel like overall this level is maybe more intermediate advanced as a whole and um there's just a couple of dancers that are just a tad bit more advanced and we'll see it almost, it almost kind of makes it not fair so we shall see what happens That's cool. missed it. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys. Ah, this is interesting. This is an interesting one. Let's talk about it. Okay, guys, that was pretty interesting to watch. I felt like the audience was really involved and the band was hyped up. The MCs were hyped up. And I felt like the dancing was a little drawback. There were just maybe two couples that really stood out to me that I felt were a higher level. And so, obviously, when there's a disparity with the level, I have to go down to the most basic thing to judge. And that is who can control the technique the most? Who has the best technique? Who can make it look like there are two dancers together as one body sharing energy at different points with both dancers doing their role accordingly so that they both look good as one unit. And I would have to say my favorite couple, uh, just going over this, is Paul and Margaret. Just looking at them, I felt like they were more advanced in their ability to do it. Like just checking out their set here. They were, just, they were just tighter. There were things about it that just looked good. This was one of my favorite moments. And the audience kind of liked that move too. And then they were doing some other things that I really liked with their uh, swing outs. It was just really solid. Uh, yeah, like that. Look at that. Great lines. Both of them. Extra spins there with the timing of the music. The audience loves good showmanship. And judges love it too, but sometimes the judges are haters. <laughs> we tend to hate when people show off a little too much. But uh, I did like them. They were my favorite couple overall. Uh, even their second set, when you see them out here uh, coming out, they, uh, course... Again, solid swing outs. They both look like they're dance partners in real life. I think that's a real skill to be able to do that. And let's see, yeah, that, like, even this little section, you know, the little goofy part where they're just kind of doing the vintage stuff. That was cool. The audience got involved with it. They had a couple of campy moves, but more importantly, the thing that I was looking for in this case was the control. And obviously they did it the best in my opinion. There were a couple of others that stood out. There was another highlighted moment here. I think, uh, I forget their names. I'll have to go back and look at their names here. But this couple, their second set, their intro was really special. They had some cool ideas on this set, but it was, it was interesting because I felt like that if they would have placed this series of movements in a better position, they would have stood out as a whole uh, more in the competition. I probably would have had them higher uh, rated as a couple just overall. Um, but sometimes that's just it's the way it is. Sometimes you have, you know, the, the right movement at the wrong time. So I believe they were, it was Henry and Francis. Just looking at their set here. This is my favorite set of, of uh, this, my favorite section of the entire performance here. Let's see. Uh, boom. They come out here. Really tight, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba ba boom, slap la da ba, like that kind of stuff like that. That's really cool. That's really really cool because it it looked choreographed, but it also looked like it was something that they could have led and followed on the social dance floor. And I really liked how crisp it was, the timing of it. If that would have been like at the the peak of the music within their phrasing and their set, it would have really stood out even more so. So what do you guys think? What, what was your favorite moment in this competition? Let me know in the comments section below. If you guys are wanting to get more tips on your own dancing, if you're wanting to be a part of a community and get inspiration every single week, I encourage you to check out the benefits of being a part of my Street Smart Swing community online. I have a big community growing. Many of those people are coming from Patreon and joining my Street Smart Swing com community because it's a little easier to navigate some of the classes. I just got a better platform altogether for you guys. So check that out in the description. Let me know, guys, who did you think was the best in this competition in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care. Oh, my